So it's been a little while since we've done one of these. I think it's been about four years. Yeah, that's right. Since 2018 is the last time we did a, an IMTS preview show. That's right. So four years later, we're back again, excited to be back in Chicago for IMTS. Um, today, we're going to show you a whole bunch of stuff. We got a bunch of cool new machines, but we got a bunch of other stuff that's over here on my left. Yeah, what is all the stuff on these pallets here? So part of a doing a trade show is more than just the machines. We've got raw material, we've got coolant, we've got video monitors over here, um, extra work holding, tooling. All the booth, all the booth paraphernalia. Everything. Yeah, tons of stuff to, to, to ship over to Chicago. Yep. So we're in the area where they're working on the machines, so you're going to see a couple of guys working on them. I think you're probably yeah. going to see Orville in the background, our coordinator. That's right. That's right. But let's get to the machine. Let's get started. Let's, let's look at our you first, first machine. So up first, we've got our brand new VF pallet pool. And we're kind of close to see the whole thing right here, but we've got this hooked up to our, our popular VF2 SSYT machine. And the whole uh, idea behind this is maximizing your spindle uptime. I've got four pallets on this system, so I can have a part running in the machine. And at the same time, I can load my next part here in the load station so that I don't shut down my spindle. Basically, I can run this thing continuously, uh, non-stop all day long. I can even load this up at the end of the day and run some extra jobs even after I clock out for the day. So definitely want to check this out at the show. All right, let's come over here to the UMC 750 now. The UMC 750 is a machine you probably all know. It's been out, this is hard to believe, it's been out for nine years. We introduced this in 2013. Um, we got Jordan here working on a cool steel cutting demo. Orvo, who's our trade show coordinator, making sure all these machines get there, helping them out. The difference with this demo, come around this side if you would please, Sal, is we've got a 25 kilogram robot. This is what we call our Haas Robot Package 2. So if you're doing three plus two or five axis parts, but you're doing a fair amount of production, this might be a good solution. So make sure you come by the booth and check it out. Let's head across the aisle here back to Andrew. So next up, we've got our VF4SS, really one of our bread and butter machines. You definitely need to bring one of those to the show, of course. So this is a, a nice size work envelope, super speed version, of course. And right here we have our six inch electric vise or e-vise as we call it. And that married up with the auto doors on this machine really lends itself towards automation as soon as you're ready to head that direction. Now let's send it back to Brian. Thanks, Andrew. Okay, now we're looking at the UMC 750's little brother, the UMC 500. But the attraction here is not necessarily the machine, but the APL, auto parts loader. So one theme you're going to see in our booth this year is a lot of automation. So we've got robots, we've got pallet pools, and we've got an auto parts loader. So if you need a smaller UMC and you're doing small parts, parts about this size, you'll want to check out the APL. Now let's go to another area of the factory and look at some machines that are still being built. All right, so now we're out here on the large VF line and we're looking at our VR8. Now this is the kind of machine you might want to consider if you've got really large five axis parts that are perhaps too big for a Roydy Platter style machine. Um, you can see on here we've got the five axis gimbaled head and John Nelson, our senior apps guy, is programming this part right now for the show. We've got it attached in our, um, our self-centering Haas vise there. Um, it's got an HSK 63A 20,000 RPM spindle so you can really keep the profiling and finishing speeds high. You'll definitely want to check out the VR8 at the show. Let's hand it back to Brian. Okay, we just looked at a big machine. Now we're gonna look at a small machine. This is the UMC 350 HD. This is our smallest UMC yet. We've taken a DM1, so nice compact footprint, and we've put a TRT 210 inside. So now, if you're making small parts, maybe medical, dental, something like that, and you need five axis, this is gonna be the perfect machine for you. Make sure you come by and see this machine. So now we're back on the lathe line. And this cell here is focused on turning productivity, of course. We've got our SC28Y lathe married up to our HRP2 25 kilogram robot. Starting off with the lathe here, on the SC28Y, we're marrying this heavy duty 828 spindle to our mid size uh, footprint lathe. This has also, of course, got Y axis, C axis, live tooling, so definitely a productive lathe. But connected to that is our 25 kilogram robot. And here, we've even got our optional flip station. That allows us to flip the part from side one to side two, so we can both load and unload and also flip the part to completely finish the part in this cell. Definitely productive, definitely wanna check this one out. Now we're at our ST25. So the ST25 is a 10 inch chuck, three inch through board lathe, but the real star of this machine at the show is this cutting demo. 
Milton Ramirez put together a super cool cutting demo, cutting steel, making a ton of smoke. So much smoke that we installed our mist condenser on the top of the machine. You're definitely going to want to come by and take a look at this. All right, now we're standing in front of an ST15Y lathe. When you first look at it, you might think it's just an ST15Y, what's the big deal? Well, we've got a parts catcher, we've got a tailstock, but the big deal here, if you look closely, is this BMT45 turret. We've had the BMT65 turret on our larger frame lathes. Now, on all the ST10 and ST15 models, you'll be able to get a BMT45 turret. We're going to go about five feet away. Andrew's going to step in and talk about the DS30Y. You got it. So we've, we've look, we're looking at lots of different ways to achieve good productivity with your lathes at the show. And this machine is our, our super popular DS30Y. And of course, this has got, DS stands for dual spindle. We got two spindles, um, C axis, Y axis, live tooling. A lot of that stuff's not mounted up here right now, getting ready to ship to the show. But what's important about this machine for this year is we've added full synchronized C axis to the secondary spindle. So really giving you everything you need to make your most complex parts in a high volume production shop. Definitely wanna check this one out. Automatic part loaders have become a popular way to add automation to a machine here at Haas. So it just made perfect sense for us to develop a smaller model to marry up to small machines. This is a pre-production version of our compact APL and we have it hooked up here to our DM1 super speed machine. Uh, the compact APL will be loading the 100 millimeter Haas air vise in here and it's just a really good way to get more productive on a small machine. You'll definitely want to check this out at the show. Okay, now we're going to look at a machine that's going to be downstairs at the show in the student summit area. This is our TM0P. So this is a new model machine. And the great thing about this machine is the compact size, the price, of course, and the fact that you can run this machine on single phase power. So if you're an entry level machinist, just getting into it, and maybe you can only put this thing in your garage, this is the type of machine that you're going to be looking for. We're even making a cool little cutting demo. So come downstairs to the student summit area and check this machine out. So this here is the second machine you'll find in the student summit booth. This is of course an ST10Y hooked up to our HRP1 seven kilogram robot. And really the emphasis here is just how easy it is to program the robot through the Haas control. What's also cool here is we've got our flip station and a dual gripper on this machine. A couple of the optional accessories that you'll find at HaasCNC.com that just help you, help you make this a more complete package. Anyway, check this out at the Student Summit booth. Well, we wanna thank you for watching this preview. And check back on all our social channels uh, in the month leading up to the show. And we're really hoping to see you at IMTS 2022. We'll see you in September in Chicago.